For close to 40 years, a section of Sunlight Creek on the Sunlight Wildlife Habitat Management Area near Cody has been out of sorts, so to speak. But it soon will be back to its old self, with a major realignment and reconstruction project being funded by the Wyoming Game and Fish Department and numerous partners that will ensure public access, address eroding banks, and improve trout habitat. Wyoming Game and Fish Aquatic Habitat biologist Laura Burkhart says a nearly one mile long section of stream channel and floodplain of Sunlight Creek will be reconstructed to move the creek away from high eroding banks and restore the stream to a functioning system. In addition, an irrigation diversion on Sunlight Creek will be reclaimed. Burkhart says for decades, sediment was eroding into the creek at an extraordinary rate. Last year alone, we lost 150 feet of stream bank right upstream of our cabins, which is equivalent to about 1,855 dump trucks pulling up to the stream and dumping sediment into the stream. That caused Sunlight Creek to flatten out, meaning fewer pools and complex habitat fish need to thrive. Channel movement and bank erosion are natural processes, but the rate of movement in this area was extreme. It was reducing brook trout populations, threatening public access roads, threatening game and fish historic cabins, and also depositing sediment downstream of the project. That's all being addressed. Towwood structures, these are interlocking trees to create undercut banks, will produce deeper pools for fish and even a few extra benefits. We foresee at least a 150% increase in brook trout that are occupying this stretch of stream. We'll have a stable stream channel, so the riparian area will become wider. And we're going to be constructing about five acres of wetlands, which will eventually provide really good moose habitat and also overwintering habitat for elk. Access will be greatly improved. The 30-foot banks that hindered anglers will be lowered, bringing them closer to habitats fish are more likely to hang out in. The $750,000 project wouldn't have happened without funding from a major contribution from the Wyoming Wildlife and Natural Resource Trust and additional funding from the U.S. Forest Service, East Yellowstone Chapter of Trout Unlimited, and Trout Unlimited's Embrace a Stream grant. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.